Today, Iguana Man and Team Catch invasive iguanas and cook some iguana egg fried rice. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Right now in Florida, silly iguanas try to lay eggs in the ground. Make a nest out here, dude. Look right there. There's actually an iguana. Looks like he was in a hole and maybe it collapsed on him. You know, grab the back legs like that. Oh yeah, he's stuck. He's stuck. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, oh, there he is. It's like a baby. There you go, dude. Just like that. Looked like it, would look like it was collapsed on him for a second. Egg laying seeds. Laying seas. eggs, right. So they're going in there trying to lay the egg. Can I tell this up again? It's like something I'd see in the worst deli ever. Yeah. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Welcome to the Iguana Man YouTube channel. This video is brought to you by FX Air Guns and the support of loyal viewers like you. So thank you. In a bushel, yeah. they love these things, man. The, the smaller to medium ones. The larger ones don't really get up there. They, you know, it's, just, it's not easy for them. But man, you'll be walking through some of these areas like this and you'll hear them. You'll constantly hear them in there. And one of the spots we're gonna hit today, I mean, we literally gotta be, we must nail six out of them, you know? Wow. I mean, This is awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me see the. Let me see. Today, the team will be using the FX Wildcat air rifle. The iguana is quite possibly the perfect combination of form meets functionality. It's a dinosaur from the past, living in the present. High speed, low drag, armor plated reptiles have a defensive arsenal that packs a punch. Teeth, claws, and the whipping long tail. He's gonna cut. If you think these teeth are jokes, pound for pound, these lizards have the force of an alligator yeah, bite. Yeah, Given an the opportunity, they'll take a slice out of you like a ninja and cut you like a razor blade. That was it, bro. <laughs> that was it. Today we're meeting up with Mr. Iguana Steve. And we're going to one of his iguana removal jobs. Give, give him a minute, give him a yep, second. I'm just getting ready. Yeah. Get up there, dude. All right. So take, take the shot. You got the best shot right here, right now. That's open. Sheesh. I know that one hit him. It's oh, yeah. coming right towards us. He's gonna fight now. It's coming right towards us. You might. Oh, Iguanas are capable oh, swimmers. Oh, go Iguanas see have long, muscular tails that help them navigate in the water. They use a combination of their legs and tail for propulsion, and their limbs function like paddles. See him in there. I see him. He's rolling. Uh, dude, we're at uh, easy five feet. Easy five feet. Oh, Shot, awesome. we got him, bro. That was amazing. That was impressive. Hey. Ooh. But there's more. When swimming, they can hold their breath for extended periods of time, often staying submerged for several minutes. Swimming is particularly important for iguanas living on islands, as it allows them to move between land masses and find new food sources or mates. Another one has come up. This tree right there. He's the man with the plan. Got it. Live action. It is believed that iguanas were first introduced to Florida in the 1960s and 1970s when they were brought in as pets. Over the years, some individuals either escaped or were released into the wild, and they have since established breeding populations in certain parts of the state, particularly in the southern regions. Oh, we're going to Steve. In action. Yep, you want to Steve. Get him, Steve. I think that one's dead, though. No? The population of iguanas in Florida has grown significantly since their initial introduction, and they are now considered an invasive species in the state. Wow, great shot, oh, dude. dude. He, I think he was a couple of down. Let me get my, uh, let me get my stick. Yeah, get your stick, Steve. You're like the, yeah, the right around. Oh, that's right. I'm thinking of the first spot. Oh, right here. Boom. Right there, dude. In the grass. That is beautiful. That cool is color. Beautiful. A little different than the rest of them. You know what? What? 
See the plant right there? Yeah. You smell it. That's a fresh mint. That's the mint? Yeah. Really? We missed one down there somewhere. Yeah, that's why I'm glad we got the big one. Fucking Yes, there are some instances where people are paid to hunt iguanas in Florida. Due to the invasive nature of iguanas and their negative impact on native wildlife and ecosystems, efforts have been made to control their population. Some municipalities, homeowners associations, or property owners in certain areas offer incentives or hire individuals or companies to remove iguanas from the property. The phrase a mess of iguanas is not a commonly used phrase or idiom. However, one might interpret it as a playful or descriptive way of referring to a group or gathering of iguanas. Iguanas are large, herbivorous lizards native to tropical regions, particularly in Central and South America. They are known for wow. their distinctive appearance, with elongated bodies, sharp claws, and a crest of spines. The silly iguana. It's worth noting that while iguanas are generally docile creatures, they can become territorial or defensive if they feel threatened. It's important to respect their space and observe them from a safe distance, as they possess sharp teeth and powerful tails that they can use for defense if provoked. Iguanas are known to spend time near bodies of water such as rivers, streams, ponds, and even coastal areas. They may swim across water bodies or use floating debris as a means of transportation. Their ability to float and swim enables them to access food sources, escape predators, and regulate their body temperature. The taste of iguana meat can vary depending on personal preferences and how it is prepared. Some people describe the taste of iguana meat as similar to chicken or fish, while others find it to have a unique flavor. In certain cultures, particularly in parts of Central and South America, iguana meat is consumed and considered a delicacy. It's worth noting that the preparation and cooking methods can significantly affect the taste and texture of iguana meat. It is often recommended to marinate the meat or cook it with flavorful ingredients to enhance the taste. Additionally, the age and diet of the iguana can also influence the flavor of its meat. Some big lizards, man. Big lizards. Right now, Iguana Man and Iguana Steve go to a gas station job that is being taken over by invasive spiny tail iguanas. They have been given the green light for the removal by management. Iguana Man family, it's your boy, the Iguana Man with Iguana Steve. What's happening? Oh, the guy that works there. I'm in there all the time. I'm, I'm a regular there, you know? And he was, you know, he knows what I do. So he was just, you know, he was telling me that there's these big, uh, the spiny tail iguanas that just, you know, they're, they're not afraid of people, you know? I mean, they're a little skittish, but they're also more aggressive. And, you know, people see these big beasts, these big lizards, and they, they freak yeah. them out. You know, they don't, they don't want them there. You know what? There's two of them. They're, they're fighting. Good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Hurry before you get yeah. caught. Oh. Sure to, there were two males. Yeah, use that one. There were two, there were two males. They, they, were, they were showing their dominance. They were being alpha, huh? Yeah. He's on the right side of that book. <laughs> nice! Uh, Shoot another one? Hold on. Yep. That's it. That's it. Oh, boom! <laughs> three for three! Four for four! So you make sure your back shot is yep. good. Yep. Safe one. Yep, yep, yep. yep. The left or right? The left. Okay. Wow, look at that right nice there. Man. Three spiny tails, man, in one, one stop. I'm <laughs> yeah. but I'm sure she is. Black spiny tailed iguanas are known for their distinctive spiny tails and can grow quite large. They are often found in urban and suburban areas where they feed on vegetation and can sometimes cause damage to gardens and landscaping. It's worth noting that the presence of spiny tailed iguanas and other non native reptiles in Florida is a concern due to potential ecological impacts and competition with native species. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission encourages reporting of sightings and removal of these invasive reptiles to help manage their populations. Spiny tailed iguanas, also known as black iguanas or tenosaura, commonly lay clutches of eggs ranging from 10 to 30 eggs. 
The exact number of eggs can vary depending on the species and individual characteristics of the female iguana. Some species within the Tenosaurus genus may lay slightly more or fewer eggs, but the general range for spiny-tailed iguanas is typically within that range. It's worth noting that these iguanas are known for their communal nesting behavior, where multiple females may share the same nesting site and contribute eggs to a single clutch. 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. Oh, there's more. 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75 eggs. Iguana eggs are indeed edible and are consumed in some cultures and regions where iguanas are native or introduced. They are considered a delicacy in certain parts of Central America, the Caribbean, and Mexico. The taste and culinary uses of iguana eggs are often described as similar to chicken eggs, although some people find them to have a slightly stronger flavor. That's a spiny tail, all right. Like three more in there for me. All right, right? Bet, bet, bet. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and raise the heat up just a tad. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna add our rice. Just like that. There it is. And we want that heat to be kind of high, so we get like kind of that smoky flavor. Guana, man, I'm about to eat something good. Fried guana rice. Get off the break. That ain't too bad. It's hmm. kind of chicken in Yeah, it does. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, I think she does. I think she does too. Yeah. This right here tastes like something from the restaurant. I didn't stand used hands. Uh -huh. Would you want some more? You want some more? Mm hmm. It's phenomenal, guys. It's it's yeah. great flavor. These iguanas thrive in Florida's warm and tropical climate, and their populations have grown over the years. They can be found in residential areas, parks, and other green spaces. However, it's important to note that while their numbers have increased, they are not completely taking oh, over the state. Whoa, whoa. 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 The presence of iguanas in Florida has raised concerns due to their potential impact on native wildlife and vegetation. They are herbivorous and can cause damage to vegetation, including gardens and landscaping. Additionally, they may compete with native species for resources and nesting sites. Yeah, can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> the green iguana, iguana iguana, native to Central right. and South America, has established breeding populations in certain areas of Florida, particularly in the southern parts of the state. 